we will be looking at a glyptodon, which is basically a giant armadillo. So what did this prehistoric armadillo eat? Well, come over here and I'll show you. As you can see, look at its head. This is a clue. It's pointed where? If you said plants, you're correct. Its head is pointed down to the ground, so it ate plants. It's a herbivore. Glyptodont is a Greek word meaning grooved or carved tooth. This animal grazed on rough grasses and small scrubs near streams and tributaries during the last ice age, two million years ago. The glyptodon is a relative of the giant ground sloth and lived in the last ice age. It weighed over 3,000 pounds. Fossil evidence of glyptodonts was discovered at Reed Canal dig site on Nova Road, south of the museum in 1975. Pieces of their shells or scoots are common finds in the fossil bearing rivers and streams of Florida. Glyptodonts, like many other animals, moved back and forth across the Panamanian land bridge and moved into Florida, living near grasslands, wetlands, and small bodies of water. Glyptodont was a prehistoric mammal that lived during the Pleistocene Epoch, which began almost two million years ago. Glyptodons were usually about the size and mass of a small car. They could grow nearly seven feet long and weigh up to half a ton. I want to show you this powerful and bony tail. It was used as a war club against other glyptodonts. The glyptodont went extinct 12,000 years ago, near the end of the last ice age, for reasons unknown. It's a mammal, so it gave birth to live babies and had fur. Where do you think its fur was? If you said on the top of its head, you're right. It also had fur on its feet. 